Welcome to another AutoCAD tutorial. Uh, for this tutorial we're going to look at crown gears uh, so that the teeth have a curve to them and we'll also look at putting the um, the shaft in uh, and also twisting the uh, shaft teeth as well to marry up with the crown gear. So let's jump straight on in and uh, and we'll get on with the tutorial. Okay, we'll start by drawing a series of circles. Uh, they're all circle radius. First one is going to be 200 mil. Uh, we'll then offset that circle in by 75 mil. We'll make it inside. Um, and then we'll draw another circle at the center. Again, circle radius, and we're going to make this one 50 mil. Uh, we're going to put a little keyway in at the bottom. So we're just going to draw a little uh, line using the quadrant object snap. Um, and it's going to be 4 mil deep, 3 mil wide. I'll make a little rectangle. I'm then going to mirror this around the center line. Should give me a 6 mil wide, 4 mil deep keyway. Remember, you want to, don't want to erase the source object. I'm going to trim this out now. And what we'll do now, we'll join it all together, which will make uh, make it a bit easier when we come to extrude it. Now, to one side, we're going to draw the profile of the crown wheel. Um, normally, crown wheels have a have a slight slope to the surface where the teeth are. So we'll draw a rectangle of 75 um, by 60 high. Just finish off the individual lines to make it a rectangle, and we'll put the slope on the top. So we'll we'll, put, we'll rotate the top line by the right-hand point, and we'll rotate it uh, by 15 degrees. Uh, we'll then extend that line out to so it completes the. Complete it out to the far left, and then we'll do we'll trim it out, and we will then join this um, so that it makes life easier. Once we've joined it, we're going to do a three-dimensional rotate to bring it vertically upright. Have the ortho mode on for this to make sure. There we go. And now what we're going to do is we're going to move it by the far left hand point and we're going to use the quadrant object snap on the left hand side of the outer circle. Now what we'll do is we will sweep it and we'll sweep the shape around the outside circle. And there we have our part of our crown wheel with the face at an angle. So now we need to draw um, a tooth that we'll use to cut out all of the teeth. Um, we're going to start off with a, a rectangle. Um, and I played around with some sizes. I start, started off with 20 by 25, but I think it was too big. Um, so I, I then looked at doing one at 15 by uh, 20 and actually set, settled on 10 by 15. But uh, the actual size is very dependent on your crown wheel size uh, and how big you and you want the teeth to be. Um, but I ended up doing a, a 10 mil wide by 15 mil high rectangle. And I'm going to uh, rotate the right hand side in by 15 degrees. And then I'll extend that line. Um, and then after I've extended it, I'm going to mirror it to the other side.
do that again because I forgot to hit no. So I'm just going to mirror it. Mirror it about the center line. Remember to hit no and now I'm going to trim out the bits that I don't want. We'll join this together. And once we've joined it, we're going to copy it and we're going to move, copy the copy object is we're going to be a hundred mil exactly away from it using the center line. Again, uh, center point of the actual original triangle. This will is very dependent on your particular crown wheel. Once we're there, we're going to 3D rotate these up to uh, vertical and then uh, we're going to rotate them individually so that they're facing each other. We're going to do this because we're going to loft a shape between the two of them in a minute. There we go. What we'll do now is we'll draw, draw a line from bottom right hand corner to bottom right hand corner of the two triangles. I'm going to use this to create a three point line, a three point arc in a minute. But we'll just move the far triangle away halfway uh, so it matches up halfway down the triangle. Three point arc, first point there, second point in the middle, third point on the far right hand one. Delete the original straight line. We'll now loft from one triangle to the other triangle. Press enter and then select path and select the curve path that we want. We'll then rotate this upside down. And now what we're going to use is we're going to move this into position using the some center points and quadrants. So I'm going to select the object first. And I'm going to go for the midpoint and then I'm going to use the quadrant of the outside circle again. And now what we need to do is a just a basic align, not a 3D align, just a basic one and that's in the drop down of modify. And we're going to select the object. We're going to go for the midpoint to the quadrant of the outside circle. And then the midpoint again to the quadrant of the inside circle. Once we've done that, hit enter. And now when we turn it on, turn our uh, realistic or conceptual or whatever shades of gray you're using. And what we want to do is we now want to extend a couple of faces to make sure they are coming out of the crown wheel. So we're going to use offset faces. Um, and we're going to offset this far face in by 10 mil, hit enter twice. We're going to offset the top face up by 10 mil, and then just hit enter twice. And now we can polar array this around. So we'll select the object. Center point is going to be the center of the circle. And then we've got to choose the number of uh, items that we want to polar array. You'll also notice the associative is off. Uh, I had a couple of goes with this one, so I tried 24, 30. Um, basically what I'm looking for is I want a slight overlap on the inboard part of the teeth. Um, and I think we ended up settling on about 48, a slight, which gave us a slight overlap. Again very dependent on the size and shape of your diameter of your crown wheel. Yep, 48 was the uh, number for this one. Click close the array. We'll do a solid subtract. Select crown wheel to start off with. And then uh, we'll select the entire, uh, entire part. Hit enter and one subtracts from the other. So there is our curved teeth on our crown wheel. And our crown wheel is uh, on a 15 degree angle. We will just uh, press pull the bottom. Press it. I'll press pull it down 20 mil, and I'll do the middle section and press pull that down 20 mil. And now I'm going to do a solid union uh, of the whole component to ensure that it's all together. 
and there we have our crown wheel and it's uh you can use any dimensions you want to make this uh to make this uh, work for you so here's the finished rendering i'm not going to do the shaft because the shaft is very very similar to actually the crown wheel uh, same angles, uh, same, uh, you use the same tooth geometry. You just uh, put the uh, geometry on a cone uh, and then rotate that around. So I'll let you have a go at that yourself. Um, if you get stuck, please send me an email uh, and I will, I will uh, do another video if necessary. But uh, thank you for watching.